Hi, today I will paint with these cheap watercolors and these cheap water brushes as far as I can and we'll be talking about um, these chalky watercolors and stay tuned to see my struggle with them. There is so much that I want to tell you about these chalky watercolors. I've watched many videos where artists were puzzled about the quality of those paints. But it's pretty common here in Germany because all paints that are made for schools, for the use in schools, are chalky and they're not transparent, they're not supposed to be. They're called um, Deckfarben in German, and the word deckend means um, opaque, that they cover up the layers underneath. So, for me, uh, I'm used to those colors. I've had them during my school time. Except for the first years where I was in school in Russia and I still have my Russian school paints and I also still have some of my German school paints and they are very different from each other. If you are interested in those, um, leave a comment because those paints are 25 and 15 years old and I will make a video or even a painting using them. but. Um, back to the, these chalky colors. They are always chalky. They are, they have different qualities to them. Some are better, some are worse, but they are meant to be opaque. Not as opaque as gouache, but I don't know, it's something in between. They're not real watercolors as artists are used to, as the paints as I'm used to using um, on a daily basis, but for this challenge, although this pack of watercolors were, was um, labeled as true watercolors, it's not. It's chalky, but not as bad as I remember those school paints to be. The paints for this cheap art supply challenge were, I don't know, probably the worst that I've painted with so far. I couldn't layer them properly, I couldn't use them lightly, and when I used them with full coverage, they became, they had like a white um, layer over them, so the paint wasn't really vibrant, the colors weren't vibrant. You will see it in the end in the black colors uh, or with the black paint that I just couldn't get it without streaks or marks and it just became gray. Another surprise that I've had with those paints was that they just came off the paper when they dried. It's really really crazy. The brushes, I'm not a huge fan of water brushes in general. I have some from Derwent and I don't use them very often. Not even for traveling. But I have them and I've used them a few times. With these, they don't have a tip, they're, I don't know, strange and the water, either it flows too much or not at all and I wasn't able to regulate this, so I changed to a normal brush and came, uh, kept painting with this one just to finish up this painting. 
I wasn't happy painting at all. I had no joy. And this is something that doesn't happen to me very, very often. So to bring my joy back in painting, I started another one of another seahorse that I've already uploaded on this channel and I will link it somewhere. It was much easier to have vi vibrant colors or softer colors using other paints that were slightly more expensive but not really. So I suggest to leave these ones in the store and get some slightly better ones. I know that this painting looks awful and what I wanted to say about these paints not only that they are very very difficult to use because they don't flow, they leave these marks but they are also crumble and even crumble off the page. This is what I have in my sketchbook now and these purple paint it's this one in the palette this one it separates into pink and blue so it's it behaves very very strange I cannot recommend these paints to anyone not even children they're very very hard to use and they are even worse than the paints that I remember having in school. These water brushes also have some difficulties. This one, not only that they don't have like a point or a tip, but this one loses water here, here. I don't know if you can see it. And this one, I don't know. I guess I won't be using them. I'm not a huge um, water brush fan, but still. So, but I still like this tin that I will use for pencils because I can take out the paints and use this tin that looks quite nice. This is the best thing about this whole thing. Experiment. As you see, the paints crumble and I don't have that with any of my other paints. And just to show that I can paint seahorses better than that, I painted this one with slightly more expensive paints and I've already uploaded this video to show you. And there is still one more seahorse um, that I'm painting right now that you can watch later this week. So, please don't judge me on this one. It were the paints. I couldn't work with them. As you see, it really crumbles off the page here. Never had this with any paints before. Crazy. So, thank you for watching and don't buy these paints. Just use a euro or dollar more and get you some decent ones. Or your children, because I I'm very passionate about watercolors and it's something, a medium that you will use probably often and when you don't have joy using them or when your children don't, don't have joy using those paints you just make it harder for them and you and there's no need to do that. There are decent paints for just a couple of euros more um, use Kuretake, use uh, Winsor Newton um, from the uh, Academy sets, you will be 
better off with those. So, thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you.